Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. And I don't think we've done it from this angle before. The camera and the stand are on my bed, so that's why it looks weird. This is my new Dragon Ball shirt, actually. I got it in the mail two or three days ago, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, it's my very busy comic style shirt. And, uh... Yeah, so I really like it. I have another, I have a jacket coming, a Goku jacket, varsity style jacket, I think. So that'll be interesting as well. So I'll show you guys when that comes in. So you may be wondering what I've been up to lately. I know I keep promising, like every other YouTuber, empty promises of constantly doing new stuff. Um, but I've been busy and I have been doing new stuff, just not on YouTube related stuff because work, ugh, I'm just going to sit like this has been really busy <laughs> and uh, lots of birthday parties and a lot of other stuff. So, um, on top of that, the voting for the award nomination starts on September 30th, I think. I'll try to find out more about that. And we got a fifth nomination as well, and I don't remember what part it is. I'll have to look back on that, but it just popped into my head right when I was doing this video because that's not originally what I was going to talk about today. Um, but there is something else that I was approached to do in terms of that audio play, but also I will be recording in a little bit today um, an audition for Mass Effect, uh, one of the video games. Um, I don't, I will admit, I don't know very much about it. I know it's a shooting game, um, and I know it's very popular, uh, at least amongst several people that I know, because when, when I was talking to them about it, they're like, oh my god, oh my god. So... We'll see how things go. I don't know if I stand a snowball's chance in hell, um, but we'll see. And um, they say that you don't have to do accents or things like that. Um, but I am practicing on accents. And one way that I'm practicing a British accent is I have become obsessed with a British soap called Hollyoaks. And my favorite characters on that are Stee, uh, whose real name is, well, the character's real name is Stephen. Um, but they call him Steve for short, and Harry, and uh, Mercedes, and the whole McQueens are fun to watch, that, that whole family, and Marnie Nightingale, I love her, she is a bitch, <laughs> I love that sarcastic bitchness of her, wonderful, um, and she is played by a lady who's been in, in several, several shows, including the 1990s revival of Dark Shadows. <clears throat> among others. She played a French character on that one, so interesting. Um, but I'm also gearing up for Fan Expo, which is coming up in November, the November 11th long weekend, so 11th to the 13th, and they just announced their anime lineup, and I am so excited about it because I'm possibly going to be a part of the Sailor Moon side of things because they will have Sailor Moon voice actors coming, actresses I should say. So they have currently listed uh, eight anime guests. And Linda Ballantyne, who played Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon S and Super S's original Cloverway dub, will be there. Susan Roman, who is Sailor Jupiter, whom, and whom I have met and worked with before in 2012 when she came to Anime Revolution. And she was the only one of the uh, original Senshi from the Deke to the Cloverway dub that actually stayed the whole course the whole time as Sailor Jupiter. So, and I love her to bits. And Sheremy Lee, who is the voice of Sailor Venus in the new Viz dub, but she's also in Sword Art Online, and that's how they list her on the website as well. So, three Sailor Moon voice actresses from three separate eras, I guess, D Cloverway and Viz, will be there. That's, that's fun. That's fantastic. I mean, we had Sugar from the Cloverway dub and um, Christina V for Anime Revolution from Viz. Uh, that that part this year and so yeah it's really exciting so I'll keep you updated as I know more about that but I've been working on something with Fan Expo kind of we'll see we'll see how things go um, all right Trina Nishimura who is from Attack on Titan and I'm pretty sure she's been there for Fan Expo before I think so um, Jamie Marchi who also has been to Fan Expo before I know that she's listed uh, in Fairy Tale I think she is um, the heck is that character Urza? As I've never really watched Fairy Tale very much. I've seen part of it, and I saw the first 20 minutes of the world premiere, 
of the fairy tale movie when Funimation brought it in 2013. <laughs> but that was about it. Um, Eric Vale, who is Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, will be there. And this is really neat. Both the Japanese and the English voice of Vegeta will be at Fan Expo. And I think this is the first time they're bringing in a Japanese voice actor. Um, Chris Sabat, whom we know as Vegeta from the English dub, and Ryo Horikawa, who I also believe is Vegeta in Dragon Ball. So very, very exciting uh, lineup. Uh, now, of course, they join the already announced guests of John Barrowman, whom I've met before. Actually, maybe you can see the picture here. I know it's probably out of frame, but I met him there. And I know him best as Captain Jack Harkness from Doctor Who, but I know he's an Arrow and um, several other ones, too, and Torchwood. Uh, Karen Gillan, who is also from Doctor Who, and she was Amy Pond, and she's also in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Gillian Anderson, who personally, of, of all the celebrities that are coming, I'm the most excited to meet because I haven't met her yet, and I'll probably be getting a picture with her uh, in my new cosplay that's going to be worked on, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, Kevin Smith was the first guest announced, and he, of course, is Silent Bob from the Jane Silent Bob movies. Uh, I think he also br uh, produced or brought back the Degrassi series, the newer ones, this is Degrassi The Next Generation, I think. I could be totally wrong. Um, Christopher Lloyd, who of course is from Back to the Future and like everything out there, like he's a very well-versed actor. Tom Felton from the Harry Potter series. Now there was a, a running joke for the longest time. The first two years of Fan Expo, Tom Felton was supposed to be there and he canceled both of them and everybody's like, oh, he's not going to make it to the third one, but he did. And a uh, really nice guy. I did get to meet him and I got an autograph for my friend Megan. Um, Jewel State, who is from Firefly, Serenity, and Stargate Atlantis. Uh, I forget the character that she plays on Firefly and Serenity, but yeah, she'll be there, and I know that a lot of my friends are excited about that. They just announced Dean Cain the other day, so from Lois and Clark's The New Adventures of Superman. He was Superman, of course, in that one. And it looks like today, or perhaps yesterday, but I'm just seeing this for the first time now as I'm telling you guys this, Jason Priestley from Beverly Hills 90210 is going to be going as well to Fan, our Fan Expo Vancouver this year. So, and they keep announcing different people all the time. Now, they haven't announced any animation specific guests aside from the voice actors of the anime ones, um, or the comic special guests, or any cosplayers. Um, Jamie Marshy is also listed from Borderlands 2 uh, video game. And organizations, the Ghostbusters of BC, of course, will be there like they usually are. The Fictionals are going to be there as well. The 501st Legion Star Wars Costume Group. And, of course, Anime Revolution is going to be putting on several events as well at Fan Expo. So you'll want to check it out and join us there for that. Again, it's in November. Now, before November comes along, we still got to get through October. And I have a wedding that I'm going to in Calgary, which is fantastic. I just found out that my mom and my stepdad and my little brother might actually be coming up um, through Vancouver and then uh, coming through town here on a rental car. So uh, nothing is in cement yet. We have no idea exactly, like originally Daniel and I were going to go and meet them in Banff or in Calgary, I guess, uh, drive to Banff or Calgary because we're staying in Banff at a uh, place there uh, for a week. So that should be great. And that's in kind of the middle of October. And then there's this Mass Effect thing, and I would, if I end up getting it, I will be flown to the States, I think it is in late November, so well after Fan Expo, to record, which would be really, really neat, and to be a part of a video game like that, that would be fantastic. So again, I'll keep you updated on that. And the costume, a friend of mine is, her mom is a costume maker, and usually Megan makes the costumes for us, but she's so busy with school. And I really wanted to have a new one for Fan Expo this year. In fact, I'm, I'm planning on three new ones for this coming convention season, uh, which basically starts now. Um, so the first one that it, I think we've decided on for Fan Expo will be Battle Lover Cerulean from Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. Uh, which I still have to watch the whole thing. I saw the first episode and little bits from here and there, but I really, I kind of like the series, and I'm going to really want to watch the whole thing, um, rather than cosplaying it blindly. Uh, Galford from Samurai Showdown, 
Uh, I really want to do him as well. And also, I'm still holding out for my gender bent Sailor Galaxia, uh, kind of Spartan style from Sailor Moon. So, of course, got to hit the gym a little bit more. Not so much the chest and the arms. I mean, I do have to do that, but more of the abs, because they're kind of non existent right now. And, um,. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible with that, and I'm terrible with snacking, and I'm terrible because there's a bag of unopened chips over there, actually several bags of them, which will be done probably on another guy's night that Cody and I have for you guys for does this thing taste like shit, because there's interesting flavors and several that I'm a little bit scared to try, <laughs> but we'll see. You do it for YouTube, why not, right? <laughs> okay. That, I believe, is it for now. I will see you guys later. Uh, like I said, I've just been so busy and stressed. Oh, the stress and the tired and the mostly just working and and stuff. And just, it's it's finally, I think it's going to be okay pretty soon. Like, things are going to calm down a little bit. But just, wow, this month has just flown by because it's been insanely busy. And, uh, oh, and I'm working on a soap opera. Ah, uh, well, a pitch for a soap opera. I'll tell you guys more as it comes along, and if it ever comes to fruition, that would be wonderful. But it's kind of like a supernatural-themed soap opera, akin to, like, Days of Our Lives and Passions, but maybe, like, Dark Shadows, and... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll tell you more as it comes along, and we'll go from there. All right. Jamatane Mina, thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.